Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Test, test, test. Oh, yes. I can hear you. Good, good. Um, do you want to put an update on the agenda for uh, for the meeting? I, I see you didn't. Both is fine. Yeah, I'm um, right now. So uh, I'm assuming the due diligence for open elementary has ended. Um, we had, uh, I'm going to make an announcement once, once people have settled down. Um, we had the call last week. Uh, we found consensus on, um, within the TOC call, uh, that basically, um, everyone had good intentions and, and everything. Uh, I don't know if you saw that email. Um, and the intention for this call is to just walk through the document as we have been trying. Um, and once we're done with the document, just uh, hand it over to, T uh, to TOC uh, in its entirety for them to actually decide on, on what we come up with. Right. Also, Bartek told me like 20 minutes ago that he can't make the call right now. Of course, he has some family thing going on, which is somewhat unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I also poked Ted Young, of course, he told me he would be coming, but he didn't reply to my poke. Um, does anyone know if he's coming or should we start without him? Because I thought he wanted to own this from hotel side, but I, I don't care. I just, oh, I can't, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, okay, no one knows. But we have Morgan, we have Steve, uh, which, should be good enough, I guess. Oh, okay, that sounded worse than I meant it. So. As people are still arriving, let's give everyone one more minute of time to get going. Uh, Steve, if you want, you can already, oh yeah, Metve, you're right. Uh, everyone write yourself into the uh, attendee. Uh, if you, oh, sorry, if you want to, I'll also link the document in a second. Just a moment. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to make a few more lines down below. So everyone, yeah, perfect. Morgan, you still owe me a salad. I just remembered this. Way back from 17 or 18, you still owe me one of your salads. <laughs> okay. Attendee list seems to be settled down, uh, settling down, so let's get started. Uh, for information of everyone, we had a closed TOC call last week, uh, as announced. Um, it went well. Um, I do hope that we will be able to simply walk through the document at pace um, this time. And then we hand over to TOC. Speaking of TOC, we have Alina here um, in her role as uh, the sponsor um, for the due diligence and also Cornelia as the TOC liaison. Welcome and thank you for joining. And let's get started. Um, Steve, do you want to share your screen again? Screen. All right, Perfect. so we're we starting from number three, or what's the origin? So the consensus from the last call, where we just put both of uh, the statements by um, by Open Telemetry and by Bartik uh, as a link or as a direct thing in on top. Ted wanted to write a statement from Open Telemetry side, but I cannot see it. Um, I don't 
particularly um, care how it is linked, if it's in the document or, or if it's a separate uh, document. Um, I suggest that for the intents and purposes of this call, we just acknowledge that this exists. And if there is uh, anything which is in the consensus down below speaking, uh, being blocked by the above, we just point to it and move forward at speed. Because again, SIG does not make any decisions anyway. It is the TLC. So um, we should optimize towards consensus finding. Um, that being said, with number three, we can either try to continue with this uh, highly um, specific consensus building on specific parts of, uh, of where we have consensus, or as an alternative, we just refer to both uh, uh, extra statements and, and move through. I, what does everyone think? I'm good either way. Morgan, uh, Alavita, thoughts? Yeah, that works. Which of the two? <laughs> or do both work? Sorry, just finishing my shredded wheat. <laughs> Rich, I think what uh, Richie's present, uh, proposing is either we can keep what we have currently, which is we had consensus in the first two, and then we have the orange warning. Uh, which uh, TOC can take a look at, or we can attempt to resolve three and four. Uh, so do we want to try to resolve three and four, or do we want to move on to number four? I think that is the question. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> Steve, thanks for clarifying. I think, I, th I thought uh, that probably going through three and four would be useful. Um, but again, Richard, <laughs> defer to you. <laughs> Steve, can you zoom in I a bit on the doc? Oh yeah, sure. Sir? Absolutely. Request to zoom in. I deliberately do not hold an opinion here. I make suggestions and it is for open telemetry as the project, which is currently within uh, due diligence to decide what they would prefer. Um, same as with, with the other calls. Um, I'm, I'm totally fine either way. All right, well, let, let's try to do three and four. If we end up rabbit holing again, then maybe we'll uh, ask everyone again, whether or not we should continue rabbit holing or just moving on from number three. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay. So, okay. Richie. Oh, number three, yes, uh, consensus. SIG observability takes note that the logging signal is currently experimental and planned to be stable in 2022. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? There's theoretically a chance it could become stable earlier than that, but let's not count on it. Yeah. 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 So, so, so what, what approximate, you know, um, you know, kind of chances this have of slipping out of 2022? Like, can I hang my hat on that business wise? No, you can, you can hang your hat on 2022. Okay. I would not hang okay. it on 2021, though it's that's possible fine. it could be 2021. Yeah. I, th I think from my yeah. perspective, it's just looking for a commitment. Like if this is something that's going to be done. Like the timeline isn't super important, but it's just like, yeah. this is something we, we care about, right? It'll be there 2022. Yes. Like we had Splunk of a big dependency on it. I happen to know Google has a big dependency on it that's, that's brewing. Uh, and yeah. there are blocks already there, right? Like the data model exists. There was just a new OTAP for the instrumentation libraries that was recently approved. There's initial uh, POC in Java done. And of course the collector has some logging support. So given that the foundational pieces are there, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll let Morgan and Eloy to confirm, but I'm pretty sure we're confident in, in 2022 for stability. Uh, uh, very yeah. confident 2022. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I'd outlined the timeline that we're working with and some of the moving parts in the, in the additional doc. And, and uh, again, definitely we're targeting an RC um, this year for sure. Um, but again, would clearly say that 2022 Q1 is what we're targeting right now for stable. I mean, unless we add more engineers, you know, specialized in the areas, we have a priority on it also from AWS, uh, but likely we will pick up steam in Q2. Any other questions for number three? The only question is what should we put in officially? This is open telemetry stating within their doc what their timeline is. Um, 
we can put Q4 21, we can put 2022. I, um, Let's just put the year. I think, I think yeah. the way it's written is fine. Yeah. I think also like putting, putting the link to the roadmap so we don't have to modify the doc if anything changes would be, it would be useful. Aloita, can you help with that? Or Morgan? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me find the link. I'll sure. add it down. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. My last meeting I was running ran over. Okay. Okay. okay so let's done. try. Okay. Yeah. SIG observability takes note that the logging signal is currently experimental and planned to be stable in 2022. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? Very good. Um, next one. SIG observability has consensus that there is wide and organic adoption of open telemetry components, which are the instrument. Uh, yeah. Can we? Let me go into just. So I have a question. While you're making that update, I have a contextual question here for somebody who hasn't been a part of the earlier conversations. These statements that you're making here, these are annotations against the due diligence document, or are they to be considered to be part of the due diligence document? Um, let, let's try. Let, let me try to um, to answer slightly differently. What we the intention behind what we're doing is um, we took everything which we could find from TOC in ways of of uh, due diligence documentation, which is uh, which you'll also see in the end of the document where it starts to repeat a little bit. But these are the things which we could find, um, and we are walking through this to find consensus for each specific section, and then we submit all of this to TOC for TOC to be able to to walk through it more quickly. Um, it's basically the, the SIG saying that we have consensus on this and that uh, part of any due diligence, which is how we did the three due diligences before, and which is also how we uh, agreed to do it like last summer with, with TOC um, as a kind of experiment if that actually reduces workload on TOC or if this is more or less um, work which, which, which is wasted. Um, so that's the intention behind it. Does that answer your question or not? Not entirely. It's very helpful. Thank you. That context is helpful, especially that you've been experimenting with this. What um, what I, and I, 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 this is my first due diligence, so bear with me a moment. And I've looked through the templates um, for prior due diligence and, and looked at some prior due diligence. And um, a lot of the questions are, about the project, not about the opinions of a special interest okay. group that that's what I'm getting at with my question is that, does this become part of the due diligence document? Because the due diligence is about the project, not about others' opinions on the project. Usually the so opinions are included, opinion from the CIG and TOC and recommendations are included like at the end of the doc as a summary. And every section is just read as a story about the project, um, the details yeah. and stuff, and all the opinions come to the end. So when the user goes over the doc, they can form their opinions and then they read the opinions of, uh, of the SIG and of the TOC. Um, so here we are taking it like more granular approach where every section has comments, but we can all think of how it will be structured in the end. It's definitely helpful for us as TOC to see the SIG recommendations on each and every item. But in the end, the doc will still be modified um, so to make it like more user digestible. And we can all agree on the format, but whatever is gonna be easier for end user and for other TOCs who are not that familiar with the project details to read and understand uh, and form their unbiased opinion uh, about the project. Yeah, and Cornelia, to, ask you, to answer your question directly, or like this is what we saw from the, the TOC is the, the, the question that's asked to get to incubation. This is open telemetry's response, everything right here, and everything that's green or orange, this is from SIG observability. So right now, SIG observability is commenting on each section, determining whether there's consensus, but these aren't, I mean, technically there are open telemetry people here, so if they disagreed, they would state that, uh, but the official open telemetry response is captured directly above. Okay, thank you, that's helpful. Yeah, and the other thing, um, this document for the intense, from the perspective of SIG is fully owned by the project, uh, which is why only the project is allowed to make any any 
any edits to this document. Uh, everything else is only done in suggestion mode. And suggestions and color coding and resolving of discussions in document is done during the call to, to make sure that we all are on the same page on the specifics. So this is how it's structured, which is largely copied from uh, from how Prometheus does it internally for, for the various discussions. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. So uh, Steve, if you can move. I oh, know you see. Uh, I I just restructured the sentence slightly to make it a little bit more um, clear. And as you saw, I just clicked uh, accepting uh, on those two. So stick observability has consensus. There is wide and organic adoption of open telemetry components, which are the instrumentation libraries and the collector. All agreed. Anyone disagreeing? Very good. Okay. Do you want to um, accept Luisa's link to the to the roadmap uh, on number three directly above? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Richard, I added it. Sorry, I just added added can, it to the date. We do it explicitly. Can we do it like so that that's we fine. put it here? Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds fine. Chris, and then we can remove it from, from the text because it's kind of hidden. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Thanks, Richard. Sorry, uh, about the fourth consensus, do we agree on all libraries or just the base table ones? Or is it not relevant at all? So we're, we're not quantifying based on signal or which one specifically. We're saying that there is broad adoption for instrumentation libraries in the collector. That's what number four reads as. And again, the, the part of doing this is to try to get to consensus because that's where we kind of rabbit hole the last few conversations was trying to make it more specific. Uh, that seems to cause some amount of friction. So the idea here is to, to show a sequence of what is. And so above we talk about more like the metric signal, the tracing signal, open metrics. So we get more granular at the top and at the bottom we just say there is adoption of the instrumentation libraries and the collector um, not being very specific. I'm sorry to jump in and I apologize if, I, if I've missed the boat on questions, but I would feel a lot more comfortable as an end user if there was a fifth statement here expressing that all three sub projects will reach a maturity level as part of the check flag box for getting past the initial incubation because my primary concern is making any form of business decision on the second point it looks very vague to me. I'm really happy you've confirmed the third point is 2022 that's great news. I would like something similar for the second point. So I know that logs, traces, and metrics are all going to be in a similar shape by the end of 2022. Does that sound unreasonable? Or is that something we could reach consensus on? The question is specifically for number two for metrics, you're looking for a date. Is that, uh, that the feedback? Yeah, because because fundamentally, we can get a date on the second one and we have the third one. Well, that means that, sure, I can understand you want to push tracing through first now. That's OK. But then we know that at least in 2022, the project will ensure that there's a maturity level across all three sub projects that we're happy to use. Got it. So uh, from, a, from a metrics perspective, our goal is to have something stable this year, 2021. Uh, yeah. Whether that includes every instrumentation library, I mean, I, I'll defer to, to, to Ted, Eloita, Morgan, others, um, but we are definitely planning to have something stable here. Like the data model should be stable in the next month. Yeah, I, I think it's reasonable to say stable in 2022 if you want to hedge your bets. Uh, we're aiming uh, end of year for that to be released in multiple languages, but I and, think end of year 2021 for metrics. Yeah. No, yeah, metrics yeah. is 20, end of 2021. In fact, yeah. Q3. Yeah. And, and I mean, if, have... if you're all in a if you're all in agreement, I mean, I'll, I'll leave you to, to decide the language, but as an end user, I just reinforce, this would be really, really reassuring just to have a statement saying like, we do intend to do all these three things. Yep. This is the kind of target date. And if you could perhaps yeah. put that down, that would make me feel really comfortable. Yeah. Shall we do, put do it in? I want to say, say end of year 2021. That's, I think that's- For metrics? Yeah. yeah. For metrics. I, I think yeah. that's totally reasonable and achievable. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, folks. Would you prefer that we do this as a, we take note of this, or would you prefer that we just write it, or that Open Telemetry writes this as part of the statement uh, above the consensus block? 
Are you directing that question to me, Rich? I to to the group. Because the one, one thing is we we have consensus on this. The other is open telemetry states this. And all right, let's let me give you a, my perspective, I, I, and perhaps you can discuss. I, I will just make I, I will just make it. So I will just Richard, the, uh, you can add the link to the metrics roadmap. I'm just sharing the link in chat. Um, please add that. That would be helpful, um, and for logging as well, like clearly stating it uh, above uh, above the seek observability comments, just to plan. So, yeah, the link to the roadmap um, and the approximate dates, 2022 or 21 is fine. Yeah, Q1, uh, sorry, uh, 2021 Q3, Q4 is what we are. Okay, Q4. We have already published and committed to. So you're Absolutely. sending a clear signal that we can broadcast that by 2022, all sub projects will be at a stable maturity level. Yes, that's correct. And that, that's what I want to see codified personally, because I feel like that's something you can, I can convey outwardly. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Richard, should I add that to the doc or do, did you get it? Um, as I look as Alina said, it makes sense if you link to this uh, above and okay. also for complete, we can just, uh, we can just have the number five uh, consensus that we take note or we can just remove it. I'm fine either way. Um, I just wanted to move the discussion along. I, I'll add it as a comment and Richard, you can add it in. Okay, so let's try um, this one, uh, call for consensus. Sick observability, take notes that the metric signal is currently planned to be stable in 2021 Q4. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. Um, for you, uh, Alina and Cornelia, um, this one uh, is a remnant of the discussion if, if open telemetry tracing should be incubated as a sub-project or the project as a whole, um, which was another attempt at trying to unblock all of this discussion. We can also remove it. Um, I'm fine either way. Um, it's up to you, it's up to you, Richard. Um, you, can, you can leave it and we can address it after you hand off the DD to us. Okay. okay. So then this is just formatting. This, no. So I'm just copying in this thing from Lolita and I'm also self accepting this URL. Okay, so it's now part of the thing above. Okay, this is a to do and we can close it. So is the project committed to achieving CNCF principles and do they have a committed roadmap to address any areas of concern raised by the community? I think that this is where we got, uh, got blocked in call one, um, where Bartek wanted to, uh, to have his concern noted down. So I would suggest that we just write in um, that the statement which Ted, reminder, you wanted to write and uh, Bartek and just refer to this and defer any decision to TOC, because then we don't have to discuss it. Um, sorry, what was the concern? Just for our knowledge, can you remind us? Uh, basically, what what Bartik wrote, which is currently at the top of this document, as an uh, as a suggestion. Um, can you scroll up for a second, um, Steve? Please, here on this document uh -huh. at the very top. And instead of walking through this complete docu uh, this complete discussion yet again, um, I would suggest that we simply take note of this and defer the decision to TOC and move on. Okay, sounds good. Alorita, Ted, Steve, Morgan. I mean. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks, Richard. I mean, just, to, just to confirm, is that statement on the top uh, final, or is it something that you, Bardic, and um, and other SIG members are, are gonna uh, are gonna revise and republish? 
It's Bartek's statement. I hope he doesn't do any more revisions, but I don't think he has revised it recently. Okay, uh, I'll, I can double check with him if you want to, or you can do it. Okay. And I think the recommendation on for this due diligence document, the ask was to move that into a separate doc that gets linked in because it's not technically part of the due diligence uh, question and answer. Uh, so I think that's still an open open action item is does it stay at the top of the doc or does it move somewhere else? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Richard, go ahead. I don't really care. Um, it can be in its own document. It can be a part of that document. Um, I honestly don't care. Uh, we can we can discuss that uh, that offline. As Borak is not here to uh, to command trade, so we can we can take it offline. Okay. So call for consensus. Seek observability defers to TUC given Bartek Plotkas and Ted Young's statement. Uh, Ted, are you going to write uh, this reply uh, document, or should I remove you from here? Um, I thought we were going to do it as a, the GC will do that as a group. Okay. Hotels, hotel GC's statements. Okay. SIG observability defers to the TOC given Bartek Plotkas and hotel GC's statements. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? There we go. Uh, I think we can close the comment by Bogdan. So we are also clean of any comments, ideally, at the end. Yeah, this one. Has this been done? We will mark components as stable in the initial phase in GA. Uh, has this been done, the last part? We will mark components as stable in the initial phase in GA. What does he mean? Could you scroll down a bit, Richie? Uh, yeah, it's right. Uh, Steve has. Yeah, I mean, uh, are you referring to Bogdan's comment? Uh, yes. Right. Yeah, no, I it's... mean, the the point I think he's making is that you know each signal is reaching a stable state on the project. Uh, so one dot O, for example, is tracing mm -hmm. stability. Uh, and, and then metrics and then logging. So we are not using a general term of GA. We are using version numbers instead for stability. Correct. And I think is yeah. I also think is I also think his point is that the first bullet will be when we mark the data model stable. The stable notion for the data model does not mean GA of open telemetry. I think what he means is only when this one is done will the project have traces and metrics be GA? Is that your reading, Eloita? Uh, yes and no, because uh, there is two parts to metrics uh, completion, right? One is, of course, the data model stability and then the implementation stability. And that implementation stability is what we are guaranteeing by the end of this year, by Q4. To move the this data along. Model, yeah, so again, uh, I, what is the best way to word that? I would suggest that you just follow up with a, that he please clarifies what he meant and we just move on and do not close it right now. Yeah, that uh, sounds good, sounds good, okay. Richard. I'll take an action item to follow up okay. with Bogdan. Okay. Perfect. Document that the project has a fundamentally sound design with an obvious critical compromises that will inhibit potential widespread adoption. That's another one of those where we got bogged down in call one. I would suggest that we simply copy, uh, copy and paste the uh, consensus from uh, section number four um, and try and find consensus on that statement. Does that sound okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry? Go ahead. 
Um, stick observability deserves uh, stick observability defers to TOC given Bartik blockers and OTLGC statements. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? Very nice. That is done. Perfect. Did you mention the semantics? No. Would you like to wordsmith something to uh, Alalita uh, as per Jana's comment? Yeah, I think that Jana has a fair comment. I mean, we should add that in. Do you want me to add it in? Yeah, uh, yes. Yes, okay. please. Let me do that. While you do this, I'm going to uh, to resolve the revert comments which Sounds you good. did. Sorry, who is modifying the doc? Is it? Hello, you... uh, Lena, I, I was adding oh, okay. just to, <laughs> to the to reflect Yana's uh, additional comment. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to resolve Jana's comment as it's copied over and also accept. So I think we can try the big one here and go for this one. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. Document that the project has an affinity for how CNCF operates and understand the expectations of being a CNCF project. I think that is more or less a given. Sorry, that side comment should not be made by a chair. Um, if anyone disagrees, feel free to speak up. Um, I don't think so, but yeah, don't feel impeded. Um, SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. Okay, um, that link, if I remember correctly, there was this circular discussion about if signals should be split out into this adopter overview or not. Um, I don't have a strong opinion here. Um, what do you think, uh, Alina and Cornelia? Of course, you will need to uh, peruse this anyway. Uh, sorry, split up like the end user adopters or? Yes, there was a circular discussion within the due diligence if uh, the split up by components is enough or if it should also be split up by which signals are being used, uh, uh, traces, metrics, and logs. Uh, I feel like uh, from 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 my uh, me as an end user perspective, uh, having a signal would help as a separate uh, as a separate uh, field. Alita, Ted, Morgan, Steve, you okay with this? 
um, I mean, we can, Alina, we can modify this table to be more specific on the signal. So, I mean, is the, are you asking for another column here? Yeah, um, having another column okay. would help. Like sure, having sure. a component we can... as a separate and having a signal as a second column would help. But yeah. again, like it can be done, it can be done offline. It doesn't have to be done right now on the call. Yeah. So, I mean, so one, uh, one comment that the signals are component specific. So you'd have to map each technically, because like it's yeah. possible that I've adopted metrics for the collector, but only oh. traces for Java. Okay. I guess um, if you can table that, I, I want to understand it more. Um, and how easy it would be to split. Do we have this knowledge about the end user adoption of a certain component? Um, so uh, Richard, I mean, you can put me like as a uh, as a point for that item. Okay. To decide, me and but Alina, there. we can definitely provide that detail. It's just that Steve is just noting that you know it's a, a two by it's a multi dimensional matrix. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> Maybe if you have more than one table, um, that might help. It might be a bit but too much. I now, think what, what end users are really looking for, we at TOC are really looking for. Uh, other send users are adopters of metrics, logging, uh, or uh, or tracing. Yeah, we don't like we don't look at on per component specific. Like, is it a part of collector? Is it a part of something else? Okay, so you want to have the table with a focus on signals, not components, correct? Not necessarily. A table can be a field, but again, it's uh, oh, yeah. Okay. It's also carries uh, sorry uh, I have a quick question on that note uh, is it generally accept expected that the signals and the collectors can be decoupled or is it like is it possible to actually use a tracing without the collector um, yes Oh yeah. Okay. So yes. so so it's it's not expected that you would use a collector, um, like you can you can use whatever collector you want as, like if if it's if it supports the signals. You don't even need a collector. Like the instrumentation could send direct to a backend. So there's flexibility and choice. Like if there's a reference architecture where you could like we would typically recommend it because you probably want to like have infrastructure correlation with the telemetry data being emitted from your application. But it really comes down to business requirements. So if you didn't want to, you could just take a dependency on an instrumentation library and send direct to a backend if you wanted to. Gotcha. Yeah. So maybe the signals could be a column and and the collector. Um, could be another column. Uh, yeah, I, I basically, I want to plus one on Alina's um, uh, comment around having a more details around what which adopter is adopting what. Okay, so I added NSIG to that to that information line. Um, and basically, now we have the to do in here. Um, or let's maybe even make it like so, um, because then it's super clear and then we can have a call for consensus. SIG observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. For number are... seven, Richie, do you want to make it green? You didn't uh, highlight it green like you did with the other sections. Oh, right yes. I absolutely do want to, because this is, if, yeah, thank you. Um, the, I, I marked it green. I know we had consensus call for this and it was positive. Thank you. Um, this is, uh, else my system breaks down. <laughs> um, so yeah, here we revisit stuff which we had already uh, resolved in call one. And I suggest we do not uh, revisit any of those. Um, now we come into the, into partial uh, repetitions of, of what we have above. Okay, please make a list similar to updated. Okay, um, Steve and all, is there any update on this discussion? Yeah, so we, I think we landed with Bartok's message of major ones are fine. So major ones are listed. Uh, so I believe this is resolved per Bartok's ask. 
unless someone thinks more information is needed. Uh, let me let me look at the at how it was done in the other document. Yeah, they didn't go into major, but yeah, so the reason why we didn't list everything is because the collector alone has like 2000 dependencies like it's not going to fit in a doc and I don't think it's useful for anyone. Uh, so requested to do it by major components. Uh, those are listed. Open to suggestions if people want to see this in a different format or way. Yeah, and, and I, also the requirement is that you know they're Apache compatible right I mean we do have to do license checks we do do that so. We can definitely list out a full list if required. Um, there is one missing for OpenJDK. I just Googled, it seems that GPL2, should we just add this to this list? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I'm adding it. So someone from OpenTelemetry needs to click the accept button. Um, just a moment. Uh, they, it also has a linking exception, so that's good. At least according to Wikipedia. Okay. If someone from OpenTelemetry cl could click accept on this. Thank you. And I will also resolve the discussion above. Perfect. Anything else? Okay, that is done. Perfect. Now we are in larger blocks. So we are walking through uh, the larger block um, to. So to clarify here, signals are not considered a major part of the spec. Is this correct? Or not a major component? So they're not a component. The signals are a separate thing. So the components are the specification itself, the instrumentation libraries, and the collector. In those components, there are signals. The signals are not components. OK. Okay, yeah, okay, fine by me. Um, anyone else with comments? Yeah, just to clarify that they are part of the specification, very much so. The, the signals are very much part of the specification, but they're not the same as components. <laughs> that was the only so, clarification. So to, to ask this differently, should this, in the opinion of OpenTelemetry, be part of an architectural design and feature overview? If not, we can, if yes, then we just write it in. I don't care, both is fine. Yes, uh, both uh, software components as well as the signals are part of the specification. Okay, do you want to write something in or should I? Um, Steve, uh, I mean, we can link to each of the signal uh, no, sections well, so in the spec. That help? So uh, the, the link is to the specification directly. Like the specification lists a lot of stuff, resources, yes. semantic conventions, what have you. I don't, I didn't list all the sub things. I mean, the same applies to the collector. The collector has a bunch of receivers, exporters, extensions. Yes. Like I just listed it by major component. We can make it more specific if, if that's what people would like. Uh, or we could just link out and say, these are the three major blocks. And there are, of course, sub blocks within these blocks. Would be useful to to have the sub blocks again it doesn't have to be a part of this doc it can be it can be somewhere else but having some sort of an architectural diagram for user to understand what each component consists of would be super useful uh, alalita we broke this out in a i think another doc for this review do you do you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah we did so we yeah. can um richard you can you assign me an action item i'll, I'll make sure that the links are added 
Okay, so I will close Liz's and Ted's comment. Yeah. Um, I will close my own comment from February. And we just put something here. To what document to link to? I, I don't recall what the purpose of that doc was. I thought it was related to incubation though. Yeah, it was it was to clarify the um, uh, more details on the on this section, it, it, the architecture and the feature overview. So, uh, Richard, you could just say link to the architecture doc, yeah. and I'll add a link. Okay, like so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, then let's do a sub consensus here. Where we say sick. And this now includes everything up to where we walked. Sick observability is happy with the section above, provided the to do is closed by Alolita. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? Perfect. <laughs> A little while ago. So we have now reached the place where we were in February. <laughs> okay, we're making progress. Um, that's actually good. Um, Okay, so just to make sure you're still uh, aiming also for an IPF release, for what specifically within open telemetry? Sorry, you're, a little too, you're a little bit too low. Oh, I go up. I, I wanted to close the other sec. We can also make bigger jumps ah. again um, and fine with either. Um, that's the only thing which stood out to me, because having just done the dance uh, of, of IETF, um, they will want you to be super specific about every single thing. And it might be that you need to split up into several RFCs. So do you want to put in here what specifically you want to release under IETF, or uh, just as a general statement of intent? I defer uh, Ted, Eloise, and Morgan. I believe Morgan was talking about OTLP, but I don't remember. Do any of you know? <laughs> yeah, I think Steve. That was the uh, that was the comment Morgan had made. Yeah, so this, it was specifically related to OTLP. That's the only piece that would I think realistically fall under their purview. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm adding OTLP um, and someone from um, Open Tel Thank you. Okay, I'm also removing that marker from February 2nd. Okay, um, this is a new comment. Oh, yeah, it's new. Uh, can you provide a reference to that documentation? Referring to this one, yes. Yes. Uh, so a link to what, in this case, this would be the collector scaling up and scaling out as well as availability. Is that the specific ask? Or is that specific? Is so it's a test? More, more specifics. Just the, like specifics of like the failure modes and stuff for parts of the project or like the testing. Is that the ask? Uh, so basically here you're you're saying those known are tested or documented. Is it about like the failure node documentation? If uh, if you have a reference to this failure node documentation, uh, attaching the link would help. Okay. Yep. We can add it. Uh, should we assign someone specifically to close this? Because then we can just, or we can also just do it like so. I'm, I'm happy to take it. Okay, provided documentation. 
provided the documentation about. Uh, what specifically, Alina, everything which is just what I really the, the one that uh, the team is referring to is those are known, are tested, or documented. Okay, failure modes. Also, integration and performance testing or just failure modes? Any kind of the documentation that kind of like shows the details of uh, performance um, or failure nodes exceptions uh, would help. And we can put this on Steve. Uh, we are at time as per usual, but I think we will run over uh, the 10 minutes as per usual. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'll have to drop uh, around uh, 10 a.m. For, for another call. Um, and maybe we can skip through my comments. Like my comments are directly to um, uh, the open telemetry team. And I wonder like if there is anything that is unresolved from the SIG um, that might need my input. I think we have this one. Oh, so this for the ones too. So security is yours, performance. It's by... so... There's one comment by Peter Bergen, and the rest uh, we haven't walked through yet, so we don't know if there will be disagreements. I hope not, uh, but for for your points, Alina, uh, also I was just saying that at 50 we are at time, so we are currently at time for this call, but we will run until the full hour in, in an attempt to go through this document and finish it. Okay. So if, if you need to drop off in, in eight minutes, we can just all, I also have a hard cut for a different call. Yeah, okay, I so wanna, I just want to make sure that we are uh, we are clear on the on the action items. I don't know if, we, if you're going to have time to resolve all the comments um, by the end of the call. Um, so maybe five minutes to to ten, we can decide on what to do. Okay. SIG Observability is happy with the section above, provided the documentation about failure modes, performance, and exception are added above. Bad sentence, bad phrasing, but um, all agreed. Anyone disagreeing? Very good. Okay, next one, let's just say, provided that Alina's comments are addressed, because that makes it easier. I would be fine with this as written. And as Alina is TOC, she will catch this anyway. So for the intents and purposes of SIG observability, we can just hand this off in my opinion. SIG so, observability is having the section. Yeah, go ahead. Richard, I had a question. Um, yeah. Again, there I'm looking through Alina's comments and uh, Alina, you've asked for you know several areas where you would like to see more links. Should we add that to this document or? Um, yes, yeah. If okay. you have if you have them, yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. My intention here is to basically move through the document at speed, just referring to Alina's comments, which allows us to not wait until they are fully addressed before we find consensus. So we can um Sounds so. good. Okay. SIG observability is happy with the section above, provided the comments by Alina are addressed. All agreed? Anyone disagreeing? Good. Okay, where is this one? All right, are you coloring that one green? It's not showing up green. I'm, I'm lost. Where is this? This whole, there's a huge discussion here. Oh, yeah, Richie, the one above, do you want that to be green? Uh, yes, thank you. It is green. Ah, I just didn't accept the marking as green. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so here's a huge discussion. Okay, that's a distro. Okay, we can just refer to his comments and, and, and done, I guess. Because he, I think he even walked back on the distro concern to some extent. Oh, there's a second comment. Oh, 
So the collector is not stateful. It's completely stateless today. Is this true if you support open metrics where you need to have where you need to have cumulatives? So today it doesn't support that. So as of right now, it is completely stateless. <laughs> yes, but as you want to support it by May, uh, end of May, yep. uh, it will. Like that, that's a cyclic discussion, Chris. If you currently are not stateful, but you intend to support something which is inherently stateful, um, so can you write something about how you plan to address uh, state scalability and complexity? I'm assuming we'll do that as part of actually implementing it. Like I think projecting when we don't even have the design of the data model finalized yet is kind of challenging. Um, we can make a note that clearly ensuring that the stateful nature of features is properly architected uh, would need to be addressed as part of implementation. Which, as far as Bartek's comment is concerned, is uh, is is what hole he is point or potential hole or what have you, is what he's pointing to. Right? Well, I, mean, I, mean, I the, read it as its current state. Currently, there is no state whatsoever. Like right now, there definitely isn't. In the future, there might be. I gave a different example, which is like a dispatch queue uh, that might be required for, say, the logging use case, and then clearly cumulative counter like metric type stuff. You might also need state. Uh, neither one of those exists today. Fair, but as we just put that you uh, are planning to support Prometheus and open metrics, um, that will mandate state in the future. Uh, Morgan, keep me honest, but this is something which, which from the open census side has been clear since 2017 that it would need state in that component. Morgan? Yes. Uh, I think not... Morgan has dropped off. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, he dropped. Is persistence being listed here sufficient, or what would you like to see specifically? So what are the most important holes? Possibly persistence. Is there, do you want like specifics of beyond tail-based sampling? You want to see like logs added, uh, cumulative counters for metrics or open metric support added? Would that make it more concrete? I mean, Richard, uh, as you as you highlighted, you know the current work that is ongoing in the Prometheus work group for open telemetry is going to address that. We are working on the design right now. So, would you like to see more detail there? Once you know, we can link to the existing design docs that are in flight, and that um, could address, you know, specifically the open metrics dependencies um, as well as. Put, pulling off my chair head for a second and putting on my open telemetry member uh, head on for a second. How about we, and now I say we as an open telemetry, simply state that this will be implemented and as such needs proper design and performance uh, testing and done. Yes, that's, yeah, that's absolutely. As far as I, let's, let's just, um, okay, as part of How about so? Good. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I wrote this as a um, It's it's already ten a.m. Um, I just wanna I just wanna follow up on what the next step should be. Like um, the document will be handed to TOC. Are there any unresolved, big unresolved comments from the Segrici, or you think we are mostly good? The honest answer is I don't know. Of course, we never talked about this section. 
uh, we are in, in territory which we haven't talked about before. I see one comment by Peter Burden, but I don't know what he means precisely. Um, if you, Cornelia and Alina, as members of TOC, uh, tell the SIG that we can simply stop doing due diligence, and you're happy with the document as such, um, we can stop doing this uh, this due diligence work. If you want to, uh, if you want the SIG to finish, it will be the next call. But after the next call, we should be done. I I don't have an opinion. If you want to just pull it into TOC right now, say so and done, easy. If you want the SIG to to uh, to find consensus on all the points, we will need one more call. I don't so care. You these didn't. items were never reviewed. Is that correct? It's never been live reviewed. I, no discussion about any of those happened. Part of why we uh, put close many of those before were, of course, we did look at them in the past. Um, yeah. So what you up to where we are, this has been uh, found consensus on by SIG observability. The rest not yet. So um, one of the questions that I go ahead, Cornelia. Yeah, one of the questions that I would have is, um, um, first of all, I think that if we hand things over the TOC now, which is where I'm kind of leaning, um, I would hope that SIG observability would continue to partner with the TOC to provide feedback should we have questions, um, either synchronously or asynchronously. Um, then the other element that I'm thinking is I would like to put this to the um, open telemetry team and say, would you find it helpful to continue to do these things? Or how do you feel about handing this over to the TOC now? And again, going into the mode of Elena and I will begin our work. Um, this context is super helpful, but where we're missing context because we weren't able to go through the entire document all the way, that we circle back to both the open telemetry team and the SIG observability. So I guess I'm asking both teams the, the SIG observability and the, um, the open telemetry folks to let us know, you know, I, I assume, but I don't want to assume that you're okay if we take this and then circle back with you with additional questions and maybe pull the team together to discuss something. I think Cornelia, that's a good suggestion. And the next SIG observability call is in two weeks. Or is it next yeah. week? No, it's in two weeks. Um, okay. I wonder if yeah, that circle back to seek can be can be done offline as well. So we have um, we have some answers this week or next week um, if me and Cornelia start doing the DD right away. Yep, sounds good. And Alina, okay. for all your questions, again, there are links on the testing on the security reviews and others, so we can definitely add those in. Okay, and I believe Cornelia also um, gonna post, post more comments to, to the doc. Yep. Uh, Sounds good. Yep, yep. So okay. yeah, there's cool. no, the doc is not final yet. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Okay, so uh, just to also reply from the SIG point of view, yes, of course, um, that's part of what the SIG is there, is there for. Um, so just to close at where we are, um, we will take one more minute and then we are done. I'm, I wrote this with my open telemetry hat on, which is in which I'm now pulling off and I'm putting my chair hat on and accepting this comment. Um, sick observability is happy with section above. So call for consensus. Sick observability is happy with the section above. All agreed, anyone disagreeing? Very good. And now I'm just putting in that SIG observability stops doing interactive due diligence here and basically switches into TOC support mode. Okay. SIG observability stops. I apologize. Uh, I have to drop now for another call. Uh, we'll sync up with all of you uh, in Slack. Talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Go to TOC.
Okay, I'm marking this as orange as it's informational. SIG observability stops DD at this point and hands over to TUC, standing by with further assistance. Otel agrees with this. Sounds good. Very good. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. <sighs> Yay, we're done. Um, cool. Thanks. Folks. Thank you, everyone. I... And thanks for not going in endless discussions this time. Uh, I think this was pretty good. Um, see you in two weeks. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you again. Thanks, everyone. Bye.